Hi there, this is Jeff from jeffmobile.com. I'm in the kitchen today. I'm going to be making a recipe called the African Peanut Stew. It looks really delicious. I made this one time before and uh, it's made with a lot of great ingredients. So let's come a bit closer and I'll show you the ingredients for today's recipe. Alright, so if you have a look down here, you can see the ingredients for the recipe. I've got two large sweet potatoes. Uh, peeled and chopped into one inch slices. I've got one onion chopped in, into small bits. I've got a, maybe three or four cloves of garlic minced. One tablespoon of olive oil. One teaspoon of dried ginger. You can also use fresh ginger if you want. I'll put it in the description of the video. I've got uh, half a cup of peanut butter. This is just all natural peanut butter. I've got one teaspoon of salt a can of diced tomatoes. I've got a three or four cups of water, one cup of quinoa, which I rinsed in the strainer, and one bag of chopped kale, a frozen kale. The first thing we're going to do is turn on our instant pot on saute mode. So I'll push the saute button and I'll push it until the display says normal. If I don't want it to be too hot, I'm just going to be sauteing some vegetables. So as you can see here, I've got the pot starting to warm up and I'm going to be adding the olive oil to the pot. It's about one tablespoon of olive oil. Now we'll wait for that to warm up in the pot. So it's been a couple minutes, so I'm going to add the onions to the pot. I'm just going to saute this for two minutes or so until they soften. Give the onions a stir so they don't burn. The onions have been cooking for two minutes and they're nice and soft. So on the instant pot I'm going to push the cancel button to turn it off. And I'm going to add the garlic. And then I'm going to add my powdered ginger as well. Just tap it in. Give it a nice stir. I'm going to add three cups of water. Make sure you scrape the whole bottom of the pot so anything like flavors or spices on the bottom will be released off the bottom. Next I'm going to dump in my sweet potatoes right on top. I'm going to add my can of tomatoes. I'm going to add the peanut butter on top. Add a little bit of salt. Add my quinoa right on top. And I'll just give it a stab so the quinoa is submerged in the water. But I'm not going to stir, I'm just going to stab the quinoa so that it's covered in the water. That way it will cook better, but it won't touch the bottom of the instant pot. So everything's in the pot. So take your instant pot lid, make sure you have a ceiling dial at the top and you have your ceiling ring, silicone ring is in place and it's evenly around the metal part there. I'll lock the lid on. Turn the dial to seal and I'll set it at high pressure, pressure cook for seven minutes. And I'll turn off the keep warm setting, so that way when it finishes, it will be able to shut off naturally. So after the Instant Pot finishes heating up inside, it will build up pressure and you'll see some steam coming out of the valve at the top. 
When there's enough steam inside the pot, the little metal valve will rise to the top and the pot will seal. At that point, the pressure will continue building into the pot for another five minutes or so until it reaches its full high pressure inside the pot. At that point, it will beep and we'll start counting down from the time that we set, which was seven minutes. After seven minutes, the pot will beep and it's technically done, but it's still high pressure inside the pot. Because we turned off the keep warm setting, it will actually start releasing the pressure naturally through the um, outside of the pot and will allow it to do a natural release for 10 minutes, which is basically just let the pot sit for 10 minutes and it naturally releases the pressure. After 10 minutes, we will turn the dial at the top to do what's called the quick release to release the rest of the pressure. Just a moment ago, the steam was coming out of the instant pot and the valve at the top, the metal valve, rose to the top. Um, now the instant pot is still bubbling inside and it's building up steam. And in about five minutes, it will start counting down from the time that we set, which was seven minutes. So the instant pot just beeped and now it is counting down from seven minutes. In seven minutes, we will hear it beep again and then it will automatically shut off because we turned off the keep warm setting. And at that point, we'll let it sit for 10 minutes to do a natural release and then we'll do a quick release of the pressure the rest of the way. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna now unplug the instant pot from the wall and I move the instant pot underneath the uh, vent here. Now using the wooden spoon, I'm going to turn the valve on top of the instant pot. Turn on the fan as well. The rest of the pressure will release. Right, so that pressure is pretty much all released. Move the stent pot back over to the counter. And in a moment, the little valve on top will drop down. There we go. So when you open the lid, make sure you open it away from your face, because it's very hot. And make sure not to touch any of the metal part with your hand. I'll give the lid a little bit of a shake so that the drips of the hot water don't land on your feet. And then carry this over and just lean it into the sink. Now I'm going to take the frozen kale and I'm going to just dump it into the instant pot. I'm going to use the whole package because I really like instant kale. Very good, so I've dumped in the kale. I'm going to give it a stir to mix in the kale. And now you can start seeing the consistency of the stew. If you want this more like a soup, you can add more liquid. But for me, I like to have a really thick peanut stew. Just stir it gently so you don't break the sweet potatoes up too much. But when I mix in all the kale so it, it thaws in the pot. So now I'm going to make a little close-up video of the mixture. Mmm, looks amazing. Wow. So next I'll serve some into a bowl and you can I'll do a taste test. That looks really good. Wow. Very nice. So now I'll make a little close-up video of the serving. Beautiful. Mmm. It looks wonderful. Alright, so this will be the taste test of the dish. Have a look here, it looks really amazing. I love the combination of flavors here. Let me try it out. 
Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. It's stunning. It's it's super amazing. I could have this all day. Well, this recipe is very much thanks to the cookbook author named Megan Gilmore. Please check out Megan's cookbooks. And I'll put a link to where you can buy her cookbook online below or check it out from your local library. It's one of my favorite dishes because it's vegan, vegetarian, and low fat. And it's just super awesome flavors. So you definitely won't miss the meat. It'll be so delicious. And I hope you really try it at home. And if you do give it a try, please let me know how it went. For more videos from me, please click the subscribe button below. And I hope to see you back again very soon. Have a great one and uh, happy eating. And I hope you enjoyed this kind of a 360 cooking video. Bye for now. Mmm, wow, so good. Mmm. It's amazing. Mm.